This study is important for the main reason that up until the publication of these results, if someone had two different lesions in different parts of the body or even two different lesions in the lung, we were unable to tell definitively whether or not those were related. And this is an especially pressing problem for lung cancer, given that with lung cancer screening, approximately 15 to 20 percent of people will present with multiple nodules, and us not really being in a position to be able to tell whether those nodules might be related or not. That's important because we would treat things very differently if there is a relationship between two different nodules, if there was concern for them being metastatic disease, meaning one a primary tumor and the other spread from it, compared to the lesions being independently arising coincident primary tumors. So the cool thing here is that there's a lot of rearrangements that happen in tumors where big blocks of DNA get freed up and then reconnect to each other. And even though there is some consistency in the individual genes and the regions that do get reconnected, they almost never happen in the exact same place. And we can use that analogous to a fingerprint or an iris scan or something at a very high definition level to tell whether or not something is really related or whether or not there really might be a difference between two different lesions just based on that DNA sequence. It's important to remember that this is really just proof of principle. It's a very tantalizing and very interesting proof of principle that this might actually work. But we really don't have enough data yet to know really how sensitive and how specific this test is, where does it work really the best, and, and where are the places where it breaks down. But the idea that you might, e might even be able to do this and you might be able to develop this in an, into a test that would be able to tell the difference between independent primary versus metastatic disease is the reason that it's generated a lot of excitement so far. The common scenario we face in tumor boards is seeing a patient with one lesion in the lung on one side, one on the other, and the situation where even if a person has both of those lesions biopsied, if they're the same histology, it's almost impossible for us to be able to tell whether or not one is a met from the other or whether or not they really are independently arising lesions. So the potential for not only both undertreating uh, people who might really have independent primary tumors and should be treated aggressively, and then also the risk of, of over-treatment in those situations is also something that could potentially be dispelled or be done to a greater degree of definition with the results of this test.